are Nikki and Carlo and our family live in Positano, Italy, nearly 500 steps from the road but surrounded by fruit and olive trees and with a fabulous view. Our garden overlooks the sea and we grow our own food. We show you what life is really like on the Amalfi Coast. So please subscribe and welcome to the Positano Diary. We have had a miserable week or so here in Positano weather-wise. We had a terrible Easter, it's rained so much and it's been so cold. It's been, I think on average, about 10 degrees Celsius. So everybody's still wrapped up in winter clothes. I've still got my thermal top on underneath my big fluffy sweatshirt and I need my coat when I go outside. And we're hoping that it's going to get warmer soon. I've been enviously watching videos from my friend Fern in the south of France, and it seems to be absolutely beautiful there. And even Marie and Lorenzo in Tuscany have been down to the beach and, and having lovely sunny walks. So I think it's just this area where the weather has been terrible. So this week's video is quite a grey one, but I think it's also important that you see that it's not perfect here the whole time. I mean. Yes, we do get a lot of sun, obviously, compared to the UK, but this last couple of weeks, it really has been miserable and anything we've filmed has been on a miserable grey day. So that's what you're getting this week, a bit of a grey vlog. So when we came back from Tuscany, we noticed that the water level in the pool had gone down. So this is what happened. Found it! Davvero? <laughs> Dai, non ci credo. Ho guardato tre ore prima. Dov'è? Directly below the thermometer. Qua wow, quel piccolo piccolo coso laggiù. Since we got back from Tuscany, which was probably about 10 days ago now, we've noticed that the water level in the pool is going down. Which means we have a leak. It's a um a plastic tailor. Word. It's a liner. A liner, that's it. It's a pool liner. liner. So there's a hole in the pool liner. So um, Carl has been trying to find it for about a week now, um, but it's very hard when you don't go in there. It's been far too cold to get in the water. So we've just been looking. And I basically just walked up to the pool, knelt down, looked over, and found a hole. So he's going to have to go in and try and patch it up. <laughs> and it's cold, look. He's got his coat on. In realtà ci stanno 14 gradi e l'acqua della piscina, aspetta che te lo faccio vedere, l'acqua della piscina è 10 gradi, vieni qua che ti, così puoi vedere da vicino. I did my cold water swim in January in England, now it's your turn! I'm gonna play with the ball! Hit me! Hit me! Give me the ball! Give me the ball! Allora, questo è un pezzo originale del telo della piscina. Sto cercando il modo di mettere questa top senza andare giù, ma mi sa che lo dovrò fare. È un freddo! Ok, questa è una colla speciale, adatta anche all'immersione, quindi questo può incollare nell'acqua. Io penso che prenderò il raffreddore, starò 15 giorni con raffreddore, il naso chiuso. A cold is a virus, you don't get it from going in a swimming pool. Ok, te lo dici tu. <laughs> You'll be fine. You've done it before. Io non mi fido. I'm not sure if you want to go inside the pool or not. Maybe I want to try to fix that this position. 
so che sembra un buco davvero molto piccolo però in quel buco sono andati via 20 centimetri di acqua in uh, 5 giorni mm. eh, eh, è piccolo ma va via tutta l'acqua <ride> ok Oddio di goccia faccio Io guardo il freddo Ah Ma so, è freddo Ma è peggiorato questa acqua Non lo so come ce la faccio Ma non voglio stare lì e mettere I'm not happy salvata giusto in tempo. Sì, la volevo già salvare prima. Ora ci metto, ci metto sopra una pianta per asciugare. Non preoccupare, ecco. Ecco, vai, prendi la pianta. Ecco. Non so per voi, ma l'acqua a 10 gradi e 14 gradi fuori. È freddo. Freddo davvero. The next day we went for what was supposed to be a beautiful walk to a place with an amazing viewpoint. While we were there, I also recorded a little video for my patron talking about a absolutely ridiculous law that has just been brought in to the Sorrento Peninsula that is basically making us prisoners in Positano. Anyway, there's more about that on my Patreon. If you're interested in joining, uh, my Patreon I use as a blog, so once or twice a week I'll write a blog post, write about all sorts of things, things that happened to me in the past, little stories from when I first came to Italy, I've recently done one on the first place that I lived in, in Italy. And also this was a little video that I did talking about this ridiculous law that they brought in here. So I'll leave the link below if you want to join my Patreon and you can join in on the fun there. It's just a lot of extra content. Anyhow, we decided to go for this walk to this beautiful viewpoint, except the weather had other ideas. We were in a pine forest nearby that we go to quite often um, and it's quite high up, so it can get a little bit foggy up there. And it was extremely foggy the day that we went. And um, luckily we'd been a few days before, so we had some extra footage from the last time we went. So, so you could just about see the view, even though there was no sun that day either. Anyhow, let's look at that. We've come out for a rather foggy walk in the pine forest today. It's very quiet. There's clouds rolling by and it's quite cold. It's about 12 degrees still. Now this part here in the pine forest we've done for years, it's about 900 meters long and there's two, two pathways through it. So there's this one and then there's a bottom one over here. And we've done this many, many times. And then one day we decided to carry on. There's a little sort of dirt track road at the end of this. So we decided to carry on down there and we extended our walk a bit. And then a few weeks ago we were here and there were some farmers in the field and we asked them if there was an access down this other road that we'd never been down. And they said, well, well, the owner's not around anymore. They died a few years ago, so it's all abandoned. So you could duck under that gate and go down this path. And then you come to this lovely area where there's amazing views. You'll be fine, do it. So we did it and it was amazing. 
Fear, yeah, so we thought we would uh, do that again now and take you with us. Anyway, now we are coming out to the road where there's a little Avery here and there's a little donkey. And I always forget to bring food for him. You see, now these people are clever. They obviously know that donkeys are expensive to feed, so they have incorporated a hole with a chute so you can bring food <laughs> and send it down to the donkey. But I haven't bought anything today. And now I feel bad. Now we were going to take you over there and there might not be such a great view today. Now we've just gone through a little gate that I'm not going to show you because I shouldn't really show exactly where this is. So basically this is private property but the owner has died and it does lead to a public hiking trail which is where we're going to end up. of abandoned gardens but long ago we had all sorts of vines and fruits and vegetables and things now there's a lovely little abandoned old house over here which has fantastic views let's go take a closer look vi porterò a fare un tour guidato di questa casa se così si può chiamare abbiamo un grandioso soppalco da ristrutturare ovviamente anche il tetto per la realtà e tutto il resto <ride> questa è l'entrata principale please come in un grazioso ambiente con un'altra entrata dall'altra parte questo è il locale eh, stalla per gli animali, se ne vorrete avere, quindi eh, maiali, galline, tacchini. C'è solo un piccolo buco nel tetto, che però è comodo per la reazione, no? se uno vuole essere più areato, eh, oppure quando cucinate è possibile mettere il tubo di aspirazione. Qui c'è anche un piccolo locale che potete usare come dispensa o per tenere la legna per il focolare e qui sotto abbiamo anche un pozzo di raccolta dell'acqua. Potete vedere che l'edificio è molto solido, è fatto in pietra, quindi questo durerà per sempre fino alla fine del mondo. And then you get up here and there's supposed to be a fantastic view. But unfortunately, <laughs> today, there isn't. <laughs> sì, una fantastica vista sulla nebbia. But last time we came here, we did get the drone out. So we do have some drone shots to show you what it looks like when there's no fog here. This is the pathway that it joins up to. And this pathway we have done before. We did it with Zia Lucy and we, there's a bit called the Porta di Santa Lia. And there was an abandoned olive mill and a tower by the sea. Cosa c'è davanti là? Cosa stiamo guardando? Uh, 
sinceramente sono disorientato uh, quello lì dovrebbe essere i colli di fontanelle dove sta quel grande casa dove c'è anche la strada che va a Positano Also this week, just after Easter, our friends Elizabeth and Pepe, who have the boat company Blue Star Positano, set up their info desk down on the beach. So the boat season usually starts from around about Easter time through till the end of October. And they decided to start on the 15th of April, mid, mid April, just after Easter, a bit later than all of the others and they had a terrible first day because it rained and rained and rained the whole day long and the boat trips have been cancelled every day since because the rains the, the weather's been so bad and there's a few little um hiccups as well starting up with the boat companies this summer so elizabeth made some videos for us as well so let's have a look at that rosie is highly motivated on a beautiful sunday good morning rosie Oggi papà e i suoi altri, e gli altri provano di montare il desk di Blue Star anche con questa pioggia. Uè! Buona stagione! Buongiorno, enjoy! Buongiorno, stavo guardando, piacere! Hai capito che fa? Cosa fa tu? Fai quale? Giancarlo? Beautiful walking conditions. The dock is still under construction. Quest'anno abbiamo gemelli. So the dock is still completely under construction. They opened for some days, but not even every day, this tiny little piece where all the ferry boats plus also uh, all the boat rentals like us should embark and disembark. This will be, let's call it interesting. So all these boats know exactly that from the 1st of April uh, the info desks need to be here. Unfortunately, they didn't move, so we have to move them now by ourselves. Under the rain, poor captains. Lady, dove sono i piedi? Rosie, dove sono i piedi di Lenny? <laughs> Lenny Porter Service. Joaquin, ma tu sei meccanico delle barche o dei gazebi? I've just come down to the beach to watch the progress of the Blue Star setup. We saw them take everything down last year and now they're putting it all back up again. And everybody is helping. It's just starting to rain again, so I'm going to quickly show you this. So everything's quite unorganized, apart from the pier being closed and the boats not being allowed to dock and the terrible weather we have. Um, what else did Elizabeth say? This other thing that's happened, so they have, they have to be in the same place every year and it's all measured out, exactly the same place. And they have their little pathway here that people walk along, um, except this has appeared. Right, and Mia! <laughs> <laughs> right in the middle of the pathway, exactly where the pathway needs to go. This is the electricity um, thing where everybody hooks up to their power. And normally this is a bit further over here, but obviously they couldn't move these things. But, but, <laughs> but we have an idea, we can bring 
<laughs> Everybody has to pole vault over it <laughs> to get to Blue Star. <laughs> Luckily, they were given permission to remove the pylon from where it was and put it to the side and Elizabeth sent me a photo to show me that the pathway was now clear. So that is how this week went for us. It was a quiet one, it was a wet one, it was a cold one and we are slowly, slowly hoping that this next week will get better and warmer. We're very excited about the warm weather coming, although I'm sure I will be complaining around about mid-June and July if it gets up to like 36, 40 degrees like it did last summer. I won't be happy with that either. <laughs> but anyhow, I just want to say thank you all for watching. I appreciate every single one of your comments and oh, Carlo just loves reading through all the comments and replying to them all. That's become his thing now. He, he, he wants to do it all the time. He'll sit down on a Sunday evening and he'll be there all evening long replying to everybody's comments. He absolutely loves doing that. So thank you all for making him happy. Thank you for watching all of our videos. Thank you to all of our patrons for joining in on my other little adventure over there. And we will see you next week. Who knows what we're going to get up to? I have no idea. I've caught up, so I don't know what next week's video is going to be about. But I hope you'll join us for the fun anyway. Have a great week and we'll see you next Sunday. Bye.